नमस्ते दोस्तों नमस्ते इंदिरा जी एंड वेलकम इंदिरा राणा मगर जी शी इज अ डेडिकेटेड सोशल वर्कर एंड एंटरप्रेनर वर्किंग फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ प्रिजनर्स एंड दर चिल्ड्रन सिंस नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री शी हेज डिटेड सेवन वेल्यूबल एंड प्रोवाइडिंग एजुकेशन टू देयर चिल्ड्रन 50 years old selfless social worker is a founder of prisoners assistance nepal which advocates for the prisoners and their families it's an ngo that works for the prisoners and their independent kids in nepal she is honored by many national and international awards like will name few here in 2012 social development award in 2012 navatalash struggling women award in 2013 nay khara gaurav award in 2013 excellent uh, social worker award in 2013 honored by universal peace federation as ambassador of peace uh, in 2014 leela ram kunti devi nepone social service award there are many more in 2014 indira rana magar was nominated for the world children prize and the top 3 nominees were Mr John Wood from USA Mr sorry Miss Malala Yousafzai from Pakistan uh finally Indira ji secured the prize and she was awarded over her remarkable contribution to over the welfare of the children whose parents are serving their time in prison on 22nd October 2014 Indira ji received the honorary award by Queen Sylvia of Sweden for protecting the fundamental rights of the children. Besides these recognized awards, she has many honorary international awards in her name. She has awards like Ashoka Fellowship Award 2005, Asia 21 Young Leader Public Service Award in 2009, in the years 2005 and 2006. Boss Magazine voted her as the 50 most influential women of Nepal. She is also the finalist of Justice Makers, a project of international business to justice in 2010. In the same year, she she was again voted by the Boss Magazine as the best social entrepreneur. In 2011, Nepal Former Police Association Awards. In 2011, Armed Police Family Women's Award. Award in 2012, Canada and Toronto Nepal Award in 2013. Ambassador for Peace in 2013, Nepal Female Police Association in 2014, the World Children's Prize, Best Social Entrepreneur, the Top 10 Businesses Excellence Awards in 2017, Vocational Excellency Rotary Award in 2018, Green Hope Sustainability Outstanding Social Worker Magar Association in 2020, finally COVID-19 Bravery Frontliner Award. <sighs> wow Indira Rana Magar has been featured in the BBC Top 100 Influential Women 2017 list as one of the most inspirational and influential women from around the world she has rescued as many as 1600 children growing up in the prison in her introductory BBC video clip she shared the story about the hard times of her childhood she shared the story about the discrimination between a male child and a female child indra ji shares a, shares her difficult up, upbringing due to being a girl child she worked with the renowned writer and human rights activist farizad after the death of the writer she continued her work and established a non ngo in 2000 and is still doing her work Indira Indira ji the only Nepali social worker to be included on the prestigious list for protecting prisoners rights she is a well named well named name to the prison authorities of Nepal and has been working in the field of human rights for the past 30 years the organization has established 12 children home two schools four daycares and several other social projects to help prisoners and their children amazing work Amazing work, Indraji. Hats off to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.
has a noise cancellation and and yeah like hear you hi namaste Hello. namaste <laughs> so how are you i'm good uh, today yeah. i just finished the cooking okay to, yeah oh, how long it is say because uh, 5 13 i have to go no no it's just 30 40 minutes okay great yes yeah so uh, how's everything at your chapa nepal uh, yeah it's okay everything yeah, good, good. And yeah every day busy yeah. i i i didn't uh, take a break single day single I minute know. since i started i know and yeah I but know. i'm yeah, I'm fast so fast. Uh, yes. I I I think I'm I'm doing a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel I'm doing every day and in a long time. Right, right, right. So, uh, namaste and welcome, Jindraji. I mean, it's an honor to have you here with us today. So, you are looking so elegant and gorgeous in sari. <laughs> yes, I yeah. love the way you carry sari. I mean, yeah, I, I like uh, because uh, in a very comfortable for us because we raised in this culture. Okay. Uh, I always yeah. feel comfortable because you know when we uh, wear the dress. We yeah. should feel comfortable, yeah. Yes, that so is. it's mentally and you know way yes. up we raise, you know. Yes. It's a culture, you know. So I think yes. it's a uh, it's automatically this respect come. Yes, yes. yes. When that I, I when, yeah when I wear the sari, the way up people treat me also so different. Wow, that so is I, true. I, I don't give I don't give them chance to like um plot me and. Better uh, to uh, abide the problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look so so beautiful in sari. I just love to see you in sari. Actually, this is an Indian sari anyway. Oh, really? I I bought. You know, I born in near the West Bengal. Okay. The border side of the West Bengal. Okay. Japa. Uh -huh. Japa is uh, near to the Siligodi. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is I bought in Siligodi. Ah, that's beautiful <laughs> sari. <laughs> so. Uh, would you like to uh, greet audience in some like in Hindi, if you can speak? Um, I I understand completely, okay. but I am samasti hu, magar thoda muskil hota hai bolne ke liye. Magar kuch 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 baat sukriya acha hai. I could say that and yes. uh, and Nepali also I say namaste. The yes. Nebat, yeah. Uh -huh. So, I mean, Nepal and but India. I, I, I yeah. feel uh, more comfortable in English uh, than the, yeah, too. Yeah, but uh, my English also not so good, but uh, uh, it's a practice and uh, it's just easy to um, talk. Yes, yes, yes. Bring, that is being the things, yeah. Yeah, but and Nepali and yeah, Nepali and Hindi, we have to go a long way, you know. So we need yeah. to find the yeah. <laughs> yes. But we have a similar culture. I mean, similar like uh, art, craft, dance, traditions, sure, true. culture, everything. Like we have a lots of similarities. Nepal. Yeah, and yeah, it, it is true. And uh, because a yeah. uh, lot of Nepali women they watch uh, Indian movie, yes, Indian serials. So we are uh, really kind of uh, into that, you know. So yes. we we know the culture, the kind so. of our attitude. <laughs> yes. No, you know, <laughs> yeah. I find Nepali people very friendly. Actually, I was in, in Australia. The first yeah. man, I mean, Deepak Bista. I don't know if you know. Yeah, him. yeah, I I know him. He he always follow. I never met him, but he okay. follow. He follow my Facebook and. Yes, yeah, I mean, he yeah. likes something about me, Eloj. Yeah, I call him Deepak Dai. Dai is Dai like, is a brother. Yeah, yes, brother. brother. Nepali word. So I yeah. call him Deepak Dai. I met him in Australia. He's such yeah. a nice human being. So oh, wow. he was the first guy from Nepal I met him. So right. okay. I just like Nepali people. They are so thank, helpful thank and very friendly. Very, very friendly. friendly, and we learn to tolerate. You know, we you know we are the beauty of Nepal. Yes. Even we are hungry, even we are poor, we smile and yes. Uh, yes. we are happy. That that's yeah. the actually most beautiful I found in my country. Yes, that is true. I agree. So Indraji, you have won many awards. Right. I mean, you have won many awards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. National and international. 
both so how was the feeling when you got the world's children prize award in 2014 oh that's uh, mm, i mean when they are doing interview i was okay. uh, Uh, because you know i what i do that uh, not for the award you know yes, and I, i i give a message to people also whatever we do we do unconditionally it's not to get awards yes yes but you know but very important thing is a world children prize is uh, they try to introduce the hero mm. uh, i mean for the children you know yes. they educate the children and teacher yes it's a world children prize is like a material uh, real material for the new generation yes. to how to create a good citizen right, right. so that's the beauty i like the world children prize mm-hmm. and it's a, i we, i was selected by the children and that's a very prestigious you know children are beautiful okay. they are very clean and yeah. they they select our story and then i was in a final three top uh, from around the world So you so, got to meet two nominees, uh, Mr. John see, Wood and, and Malala. Uh, Malala Yousafzai. So yeah. how was that experience meeting those two people? Oh yeah, very nice. Very shortly I met them. Uh, you know when we are honoring, uh, then we had a small chat, and I was sitting beside the Malala. Oh. Uh-huh. And next to the John Wood, mm-hmm. and um, so it's very beautiful. And see, we are just uh, talking about. Uh, i was talking uh, about the malala's work and she was uh, talking about my work yes. and that's the way the social worker can connect and uh, respect yeah. each other and then even we have a one minute to speak i spoke about the malala okay. and uh, even the, like a john wood they he spoke um, i spoke uh, he spoke about malala and my about me your work so that's yeah. you know one minute we have to speak our thing but we are speaking our like uh, uh, friends you know who are yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. that that attitude is a very good a- example for the people who are working in this field yes. but uh, it's a really we can find these people you know nowadays mm-hmm. a lot of people you know is a social or it is like a fashion competition mm-hmm. but i i don't like this kind of uh, uh, yeah. things you know, we should respect each other yes not not for competition yeah exactly i mean it's been like more than 5 6 years we are facebook friends so yeah. uh, <laughs> i know about your work everything like so uh, you've been featured in bbc's top yes. 100 influential women so right, how yeah. was that when you came to know about that actually i was not even the uh, thought that i i i not imagine then how i was selected uh, because you know during the uh, the plotting time bbc news came from the london Okay. And actually that is the last day they are going back. Uh-huh. And the 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 um, the Kare BBC programs uh, you know who run the program she was excited uh, I know she heard about me some from okay. the some friend. Okay. And uh, and she request cameraman and to go my place and cameraman said oh we have to pack and everything busy so we have no time but she said let's go let's go to meet this woman okay. and then they came but uh, they spent hours and hours in our place uh, in the uh-huh. home then went back and seen actually sees the person who nominate me uh huh okay yeah. so it's a, how long have you been working for society i mean at what age you have started this i was a uh, 18 really professionally when i start to work in prison i was a 18 19 yeah 19 i was a 19 19 year old yeah what uh, made you start this something like this uh, actually i came here to work uh, at for study and to uh, for further study and uh, always i thought i when i study i go back to the community and okay. help the girls who had uh, no education like me Mm-hmm. because of when i was a little girl i had a uh, no opportunity for education to go okay. to school mm-hmm. so i learned with a stick on the ground uh-huh. so i educate myself so how to read and write and later uh, when i was a 10 years old and i got a chance to go to school so mm-hmm. in a, directly in a grade 5 uh uh-huh. then uh, everybody said oh she cannot go grade 5 because she never been in school mm-hmm. and i i said that i i i want to go grade 5 I told the teacher, uh, uh, and he he thought that I'm a very stubborn. Okay, okay, let later uh, if she fail, she can stop. If she yeah. pass, she can continue. Yeah. 
Yes. But I I top the class. I top uh, her in the classroom. Uh, yeah, three marks. I top her the first boy. So that that, that after that my door is open for continue. Okay. But it was a lot of struggle uh -huh. uh, when I I have to go across the jungle to go to school, and uh, I have to work. I have to cook food. I have to go to work in the field. I have to look after the animals. So, but I do that also. I used to do that also, and then I go to school. And it's a hard, but uh, when I was uh, going to school, very difficult for paying fee because that time is a not a scholarship kind okay. of thing. Uh -huh. No, not a uh, foreigner used to come in Nepal. There was uh -huh. a not not many people are understand the social work. So, so how say, yeah? How was your childhood? I mean, where you come from and what about your family? How? Yeah, no, I I I came from eastern part of Nepal. I tell you, my parents they born in a just Sagarmatha uh, zone, you know, Mount Everest, uh -huh. the mountain side, mm -hmm. and uh, they have also own story. My parents, okay. my mother was a mother uh, had this second marriage with my father. Okay, so the first had been uh, married another woman. Okay. Uh, my mother doesn't want to share the uh -huh. husband. She thinks. Uh, yeah. Why, uh, why do I say it? So she stay in a maternal house and then she fall in love with my father. Mm. But in a Nepal, that time Nepali culture, if we um, men married another woman, he has to pay money to the another man, the first man. Oh. So my, my, my father had no money. Mm -hmm. so he, he was a bonded labor kind of. So, and they just uh, left the village and uh, started their begin their life in the uh, border side of the eastern Nepal, near to the West Bengal. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. it's a border, but we uh -huh. are in a Nepal side, but uh, near to the India. Okay. So I, I, I was born there, but uh -huh. uh, it was a big jungle at that, that time. Now it's a cultivated, you know, not so big jungle, uh -huh. but that's why I, I, the old children price, they call me like a jungle girl, stubborn, school stubborn, uh -huh. because I grew up in a jungle. I used okay. to go to jungle, I bring the wood, uh -huh. I, I used to go, we look after the animal, so I used to go in a field to work, uh, that's my childhood. So, so when I start to go to school also, I have to do all these things. So it was the uh, same discrimination among girl, child yeah. and the boy? Yeah, my brother, they used to go to school, but I, I, I was not allowed uh, to go. Allowed to go. Oh. So I learn with my mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. uh, when my brother, they're doing homework, so I learn with a stick on the ground writing, sometimes mm -hmm. oil, sometimes, uh, you know, the rice uh, dust, I used to write like that. So, oh, uh -huh. so this so, way I learn. So how did you make to the school? I mean, how you made your parents allow you to go to school? Yeah, that that's the, because uh, one teacher, they, he came to my village. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, he, he saw me, oh, so beautiful child, little girl. They said, he said that. So, mm -hmm. uh, are you going to school? He asked me that. And I said, I never been to school, mm -hmm. but I know how to read and write. Mm -hmm. I love myself. And mm -hmm. he said, you want to go to school? And yes. Yeah. And then I went to school. So, but I, I saw that my same height people, age people was five class. Okay. And, at five. and I said, I want to also stay in a five I said uh, we are the same age, <laughs> but I didn't realize that I, I cannot go. Be, but I force, uh -huh. I, if you allow me to go to school, I want to go grade five, then right. otherwise I don't go. The teacher said, okay, okay, she's a stubborn, so let her do it. Uh -huh. Then the, the teacher couldn't believe that, and my, my classmate couldn't believe that. So I, I, I can win, uh, I, I, I could win them. So okay. I was the top in the class, yeah. So that's yeah. where my education is open. Uh, yeah, now you are uh, like a bachelor of commerce, yeah. right? Yeah, I finished the bachelor and then I okay. went also MBA. Okay. Uh, but I did other things like a quality management, mm -hmm. project management, extra class I did. And then I went also MBA, but I didn't continue MBA because a lot of problem and I was working in a prison. Oh. So... So who was your inspiration? I mean, who? Actually, uh, in the, I used to work in the village also. That is my childhood experience. But okay. uh, in prison field is a Parijat. Yeah, so I met that? a woman. She is a famous writer. Uh -huh. So she's uh, actually my inspiration uh, working in a prison. 
she okay. is the woman who introduced me in the prison okay. and open the door open the way for me to go otherwise is uh, that time i was a young girl uh -huh. so i don't know why uh, how to go in a prison uh -huh. so she she she's my uh, okay she's my crew. <laughs> yeah that's what i read yami parijat you wrote about parijat yeah, i wanted yeah. to know who's that so yeah i i learned from her lot she she was a kind of uh could not move she has a uh, arthritis and her hand was like this but it still she used to write and i see her she could not move you know mm -hmm. she could not her hand was not so nice it's a uh, very painful for her she has to take medicine but uh -huh. she's a uh, keep writing keep writing uh huh um, and i said i i am a very physically okay mentally okay so i have to do lot yes that that's is the true. inspiration also yeah so you provide like safe supportive lodging and education for children yeah so these children are from like uh, some prison. reason some yes. abandoned i ha i do have a some abandoned i raised myself with little, little children that's also abandoned some are yeah. abandoned some oh. are from prison so where do you get all this funding from actually it's a, uh, when i start to work there was no funding when okay. i i go i used to walk myself and then when the, i able to buy small cycle i used to go cycle so mm -hmm. i'm a cyclist also mountain biker also okay i know I, you cycle a lot i mean i've seen uh, like you travel by cycle only i guess right yeah 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 no yeah. that's all yeah. that's what you prefer yeah if i'm not carrying anything i go by cycle uh, today also i went cycle around the city uh, -huh. uh yeah because today is a big program nepal because uh, today is a national day in nepal okay uh -huh. so uh, uh where i used to feed there was a police call me that oh uh, you have to change the place so uh -huh. i went to change the place i have to inform the people but now i got again message so it's okay to go there because okay. uh, now is a program is finished so i i, I can feed again continue yeah. okay okay uh huh so uh, which award is close to your heart i mean you got so many awards this is a like huge list so <laughs> i mean actually every award has inspired me every awards introduce my work and make yes. it me see so but uh, i there there was a kind of osaka fellow i got you know social entrepreneur award in 2005 okay I I never thought I thought I'm a I'm a social worker I'm helping people mm -hmm. and I I didn't have a like a big dream like a my dream is to how can I serve people uh huh right you know all my you know uh, way up I work I like to work you know in the not like a um, high fi you know I I would like to work I silently know. in a ground level yes. being like a low profile I like to work yes. of course there is a challenge when I I'm in a low profile. but uh, and i like to be like that so that's my passion yeah you are selected as ambassador for peace too yeah and uh, when i was the osaka fellow social entrepreneur award and yeah. they said uh, then i selected asia uh, 21 young leader so mm. i never thought leader is just like a political leader but i i didn't realize that i'm the one of the leader <laughs> in society <laughs> i'm the leading yeah yes. the lot yes. of people's voice and uh, so that i forgot and that's our introduce who i am. okay it's a uh -huh. different award has a different i mean um, you know uh, different uh, values yes you so, are and then uh, when i got a uh, uh, world children prize mm -hmm. so that's a uh, something very beautiful is um, how we inspire the new new generation the come how do we create good citizen yes and how we inspire the uh, people around you know that's a very okay. important and very important is that we are many time we left out we are ourselves you know social worker yes. uh, if, if we go like a, a leader and like that people you know in the mass they cheer us you know yes yes for for social worker always people look down for us if they don't know if i am working in a street they don't care you know who is this mad girl you know uh -huh. if i'm working in a prison with this mad girl you know so uh, mm -hmm. i mean they the way of they like a treat us not so good yeah but 
you know, for me, it's uh, when I got this All Zealand Prize, mm -hmm. you know, when the children gave me these values, that's uh, something special for me. Yeah. Because I was a selected final three throb from around the world because of the kids. Yes, yes. They, yes. they like my story and I, I able to inspire, my story inspired them. So mm -hmm. that's something, so beautiful. That's so you are, very, a very yeah. special World Children Prize for me. Yeah. So you are building up your team at yeah, your place? like I have a different places we have a team. Okay. In Nepal, West Nepal, we have a world uh, children. We have a seventeen children home. Okay. So different places. We have a building, a network. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a team, mm -hmm. uh, but very silent team. Not like a political groups. You know, like a group team. Uh, uh, come uh, with the media, or they uh, do small thing. Okay. Uh, just for fam, you know. Uh -huh. uh, we, we work very silently how to raise the young babies who are children who are very vulnerable mm -hmm. how we give them good you know environment happiness uh -huh. Uh -huh. so how we make them normal children like you know how can we give them good environment and love and care like other normal children because yes. they these children where we who we working they lost mm -hmm. their parents they were treated as also like a criminal because they came from the prisons because their parents are in prison. It's very hard for them. And I always am fighting for their dignity. Yes. And always I say every child should have a right to live with the dignity. Every right, child should right. have a food. And I believe that, uh, you know, I mean, the, if we work that way, of course, we don't bring the bigger change, but a small change can bring yes. bigger change. When we look for the bigger change, we forget the small thing, you know. Right, we right. forget the humanity. We forget that, you know, who are who are we are, you know, like that. Yeah. I'm not looking for the big flash of light. Yes. I'm looking for the firefly, it's a little, little light. Right, right. How can we protect this light and how can we reach in every dark mm. dark corner? Yes. Where is the sun is not reaching? Where is the not like a big flash not reaching? Right. So my belief is like every each individual people should have a right to live with a dignity and they should have a you know basic human rights. They mm -hmm. should have a right to have a food. Mm -hmm. Right to have a small shelter. When I see the people are hungry in the street when they are sleeping even in the heavy rain they have a no even small sad or even they have a no roof. Mm. Myself, I do remember my childhood. We had mm. also a small hut and my, our roof was not so protected, no okay. tin. Uh -huh. And the, the water was a dropping. My mother uh -huh. with the, my mother with her, as she used to have a little like a shawl and then she was a cover me from the rain. I do remember that, that, that time, my childhood. And I remember my when I was hungry, when my parents could not feed me, you know, sometime, you know, one piece of mm. bread. Mm. So, so all these things um, remind me emotional. And then always when I work, I think that those days and yes. I, and when I see the reality of the other people, other young children are, they are suffering. They have a no roof. They have a no uh, little nice food. Makes me yes. really um, emotion and feel pain. Yes. Um, that's why I work hard and, but it's nothing for me. I, mm -hmm. I always get a pleasure when they see yes. my food. I'ma bring the good food and Amma's deli del uh, delicious food. Makes me See. happy. Even yes. I tired, I like to cook myself because they love my taste. Yeah, I've seen you cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how that's, many children so are there like? No, children are now living in a different places. But okay. mostly now I'm feeding 700 people in a street. Oh, every day? So, yeah, every day uh, since lockdown, after, after a few days, I okay. start to cook. Okay. I start to cook every day. And so before, no staff also now is after lock, lockdown open, my staff start to come and they help me to... Uh, okay. prepare the vegetable and like that but the main course main like a vegetable vegetable i cook myself yeah i've seen that i, I, I have yeah i like to because the way of the i put salt and everything spice i mix up the taste uh, they love that taste so okay. i don't yeah. have to 
I don't want to compromise uh, the taste uh, of the curry. Uh, right. I have seen that. I mean, you had lots of vegetables like uh, spinach and everything. I yeah, because that's... you know, uh, it's a two way. I'm working. Mm-hmm. I'm working for the like a uh, women. You know, very poor women. Their their mm-hmm. husband are porter or working in a, um, you know you know, like a bus, like an assistant, you know, contactor, like that. So they they have a, uh, they could not rent like a nice house. So they rented the land around in the Kathmandu Valley. So in the little mountain site. And so they plant and okay. they can live in the small, like a hut, uh-huh. small place, but they produce vegetables, like a teenage farmer, small, like uh-huh. a, uh, curry sabari, it's called curry sa, it's small kind of a vegetable garden they have. But they okay. don't produce like a big amount of the vegetables. So I collect each women's. So uh-huh. same time I empower the women uh, uh-huh. by buying, giving marketing. So okay. same time, you know, I bring the fresh vegetable and I'm feeding the homeless people. Others, yeah. Yeah. Shelter. So, you yeah. go yourself, I mean, to provide those yeah. meat packs and um, water yeah, bottles. Yeah, every and, day. Yeah, every day. Yeah. I go. Yes. Because easy, you know, I, I take a taxi driver. So, okay. and sometimes uh, I go along, sometimes my girls, and sometimes like a who is sponsor, they also come in the field, they help me. And then uh, there is a lot of youth. I ask them they just for the line for the food. Okay. I ask them because uh, you should do something. Yes. You make the line. So I don't need uh, like a many volunteer. So, okay. but these people, when they uh, got an opportunity to work there, yes. like uh, do volunteer, so they feel, uh, you know, special. Uh-huh. Uh, they think, uh, because they feel pride, you know, okay, right. I'm doing volunteer. So they are not just like uh, waiting for the piece of bread or piece of packet of rice. Right. Yeah. So uh-huh. this is the way I like to give opportunity for the people who has no opportunity. So mm-hmm. they feel proud themselves and they feel special. Yes. We are not like uh, just taking food, but we are helping. Uh, we are volunteers. So it's special. That's yeah, the way I... They get to learn to how to help others, right? Yeah. Through you. Yeah, a, that's, that's, that's the thing I do. Yes. And if someone is a sick, someone has an accident, they come to me, they inform me. And yeah. I can't stay in a hospital, but I pay the uh, medical bill. Yeah. Medical. I open yes. the account for them in a medical. Okay. So I have a doctor there, like a one Umis Bukoti, so connected in our government hospital. So I ask him also to help us. So investigation free, something, you know, like right, a medical. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So that way also I support the state people now, homeless okay. people. Okay. So is government is helpful to you? Uh, it's not for financially, but uh, okay. of course, sometimes, you know, the police was uh, at the beginning difficult, but uh, everything I got this permission from the police, I know for the metro, uh, one of my friends, uh, she's like a professional friend, she's a Korean Bazachari okay. and DSP Sam Chogari. I said, uh, I have uh, only taxi. So mm-hmm. if I go out, uh, please help me. And okay. then I, they announce my number so that the police don't give me trouble. Yeah. My, my taxi is allowed. Uh-huh. Because otherwise, without permission, I can't go move around uh, during the lockdown. lockdown. So, so of course, I got uh, help from the police, especially. Yes. Sometimes who doesn't know me, they give trouble. But yeah. mostly the police now traffic, they know my work. So uh-huh. everybody say now... Namaste, Didi. Like they can, they can even tell that where is the the children are there, the street children are there. Okay, they are there. They're looking for you, waiting uh-huh. for your food. So this is also great help for me. Right. Doesn't have to like a government has to fund, but uh, I believe that we are all government. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the public should support the public. Yes. So, because we, all Nepali should support the another Nepali. Right. Uh, we, um, and I believe this time it's a, um, I had a great experience, you know. We are very poor Nepali people, but are, we, we are very rich in our culture. Yes. Uh, still, we have this kind of feeling we can share, you know, each other. So now i feeding 700 people actually is a Nepali, especially Nepali people giving this food. Some bring like a one packet of rice, some like a 10 packet of rice, uh-huh. some dal, some kind of, some, and even like a one small market, vegetable market, they gave me one month of free vegetable. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. So two months ago, they gave me free vegetable. I, okay. I took this vegetable in prison for the uh-huh. prisoners. And uh, and some of my friends, they make like a marks, you know, clothes marks, yes. cotton marks. Yes. So they donated me. And now, now, now I'm buying, she giving a free, this is she giving a free cloth, but uh-huh. I g- give the charge for the, um, this train rupees yeah. actually, but she's still considered some price. Yes. So and we give this for the people who come to eat there. Yes. So you know, I mean, this time I I really proud with my people. You know, yes. so they are really once people wants to help, but they don't know how to help. Mm. So um, this is something very. Um, uh, I I guess Corona. Good example. Uh, yeah, Corona has changed everyone. I yeah. Guess. Of course, so, people every are unsecure, you know, they don't know what's yes. happening. Yes, exactly. So, uh, yeah, everyone so, is helping each other, helping each other. And that's something, you know, but yes. sometimes people, some kind of people there, they forget that, you know, they are in this period, you know, so they forget it's still there. Uh, um, they show their power. You know, uh, I mean, so this is also still raised here. So it's still yeah. we need to fight all this thing attitude. Yeah. Uh, it's a not new in India and Nepal. We have a same culture, same yeah, attitude, same, yes, same yes. mentality. You know. Yes. To we manage. are. Uh, yeah, we are very, very similar in many ways. Yes, that is so, true. Abhi, it's but we are very, very, very emotional. We are very. We have a very big heart. Also, we shouldn't forget that. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I mean, it's a, like difficult for you. I mean, it's challenging for you. Every step is like you have to deal with some other kind of people and like help others. And it's like difficult. But still you are managing. I mean, you are going out, reaching out yeah. to the people in Corona pandemic. It is difficult. Uh, as a woman, uh, also very difficult, you know, like, uh, yeah. It's difficult. Being still, as a woman is very, very tough in very Nepal tough. too and India too. India I think. too. India too. Same, yes. you know. Yes. For us, uh, being in India too, yeah. I have to cross a lot of border. I have to sacrifice a lot of my desire, you know, uh-huh. uh, to fight again, you know. So uh, it's not easy for a woman, yeah. Yeah, it's not But uh, we just uh, focus our work. We Still, the, uh, like, rest of the- after so much of a struggle, you emerged out as a winner. I mean, that is appreciable, Abhi. That is... Yeah, no. yeah but it's still I'm fighting, you know, kind of ground level I'm fighting. Uh-huh. It's uh, because, you know, people uh, lack, you know, like a leaders who are power. So, uh-huh. you know, it's still I go to the prison carrying things, you know, People don't see any flame, you know, any like a Surya light, you know, uh-huh. sunshine, you know. They uh-huh. see uh, for us it's a little light, you know. Oh, it's yes. a little thing, but they they forget the value of how important is caring people and uh, how important is a humanity. Yeah. You know, I don't like to put a tag of the religion. I don't want to put the tag of the group and uh, nationality, you know. My yes. heart is, uh, I try to make my heart is uh, full of humanity yes. to care people. If people suffer, I should be a, uh, you are there, you know, like a, something, you know, for them to bring happiness and make them comfort, you know. Yes. So that's, I think, I don't think like a big dream. I think a very small, small thing I care. I know. How I make happy one small child, how I make happy some people are suffering. How can I be a, a Yes. you know friend of for them so very very simple thing so any any sad incident that made you cry is it uh yeah sometimes you know like uh, i told you that i think i different way i told you yeah. i'm you know already winner you know i mean a lot of people knows me and but uh, but i i'm not like every day in a news nowadays the the media is covering so, but the people, they don't know me because uh, I'm a, sometime I go around cycle, so they don't know me. Sometime I take the food and I'm going, they don't know me, you know. So sometimes they, I told you that flame, you know, I'm a not mm. flame, I'm not a sun, I'm a little light. Mm. So way up, they like discriminate me, sometimes they humiliate me, underestimate me. 
and even they use bad word and harass me it makes me a little bit pain you know but i understand this is a society so i should ignore yeah this is nothing for me and my yeah. my motive my my focus should be what i'm trying to do i should focus that i shouldn't waste my single time but still people try to come and harass me and oh. i feel a little bit you know uh, see the attitude of the people attitude of the youth also they should be learn person they should uh, learn to respect the uh, older and uh, so we we miss that nowadays yes way up we respect our teacher but now is the time it's a different mm-hmm. we so still of, definitely yeah. most of the people will get inspired by you a lot a lot, lot of lot of lot of uh, in yeah. youth are inspired by my work yes and uh, uh, i just suggest the youth they should learn to be a person yes they have to work hard not to just uh, go with a full of noise and just to mm. get a fam that way they, the social work is not that yeah they have to work yeah. every day unconditionally yes so that's the social work yeah success doesn't come fast right it, it comes yeah, slow yeah. and steady yeah yeah so can i ask you one personal question how is yeah. how is boo boo is now is office there they are they, okay. they're doing drawing because we keep like a social distance because sometimes people visit here yeah so we, they are in the creative room uh-huh. she's so funny she uh, she talk herself uh-huh. sometimes she uh, she said who oh, am i is tired why why you make a disturb she's very tired she work very uh-huh. hard she's so funny she work, all the time uh-huh. she talk <laughs> uh-huh. because i saw i mean you brought her like where she was very small tiny yeah yeah, yeah. she was a uh, one of one and a half kg and Four. you yeah you named her boo abi i remember that during the earthquake so, time yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, abi how old is she now she's um now 5 years just uh, like uh, or during our three ah. times she was born yeah yeah okay okay so she's also child of prisoner uh no she's uh, during our three times she was uh, left in the uh, army ground camp okay uh-huh. i i pick her her sister and boo together and i okay, okay. i met the father but father was alcoholic so she is also from street boo but uh-huh. uh, he never came back so mm-hmm. he never came back and so i continue now i gave the name of my my own name to the boo yes uh, yeah so how many children are uh, total 16 hundred uh, no we have a five um, hundred uh, under our okay hello 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 can you yeah. hear me yes yes yeah no. to uh, more uh, still a uh, connection is uh, unable yeah. yeah it's okay yeah we uh, we we have a 500 children uh, under our care throughout okay. nepal oh. so 2000 children already we raised already mm. there so uh, i i told you hello is a british army i mm. i uh one son you know he is very nice he, even he is a british army he is going but uh, he helped the people so mm-hmm. some are nurse and one of my girl is she is studying in a bangalore nursing okay yeah some some already married you know so we need to get in family so so But already you, uh, yeah you rescued more than 1600 Kids, yeah right? more, more yeah. than 1600 or uh, 2000 already reintegrated uh and you have like two schools and how many daycare centers uh, we mm-hmm. have a daycare center you know three places uh, continue we are running a daycare center okay. but we have a uh, in the prison and then outside we have a, a three daycare center outside of community Okay. and then uh, we have we supporting in the uh, young children in a different other five region so oh, okay. nutrition yes. food we provide the clothes and yeah so because uh, where is a bigger number so we provide regular daycare center yeah yes it's a uh, let's then we all actually just need more people like you all if we actually wish to make this very society as an ideal place to live in 
it's like you are much deserver of all the appreciation and awards because it is only you who actually just work for the well being of our society yeah so, i try my best uh, but uh, yeah. you know if everyone everyone they work for uh, they contribute their one hour yeah. so world, world will be different that is true yeah so, we don't need a uh, like a uh, to work 24 hour okay yes. i i work in different way because uh, i fascinate uh, different way so now this is my life you know so yes. I, I i can't change it but uh, i request that everyone a uh, new uh, new generation they yes. should learn to contribute one hour a day for the that others is true. yeah it's a good message any other good message you want to give to the public yeah, but I, I, I just tell that, you know, anybody, they, if they want to be um, value in the society, and they should uh, like a uh, aspect uh, award and reward, yeah. you know, they should uh, work as an unconditional way. Unconditional, yeah. Yeah, so that that's, true. Yeah. 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 That Thank makes you. a different society and... Uh, um, every work we should do like uh, honestly, you know, so, so we have a beautiful world, you know, so we, so, we don't have uh, to sacrifice everything, but uh, everyone, if they contribute one hour and everyone, if they give a little empathy and little time for others and think yeah. like a little uh, for others, the right. world will be different. Yes, yes. So we then, should create this environment for our new generation and every mother, they should uh, give time for their children yes. to, to create good citizen, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a mother is a very important. So that I, I try to be a mother, try yeah. to give a good food, you know, try yeah. to give a time for kids. So, yes. you know, who has a no mother. So that's important for me, you know, so. I guess you are mother to many people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very hard to say it, but uh, every yeah. individual mother, if they give their time to their yes. own children, so we can create good human citizen. Yes. So we can change this way the world and our mm -hmm. society. So yes. that is a message I want to give to the everyone. So, yes, thank you. And uh, Indraji, I would love to host you in real life too. So really, please, one day, might yeah. be one day. <laughs> yeah, please plan to visit India, and you are you will be my guest. Thank so, you. I would love to have and you. You must service. you must welcome uh, to see our beautiful country. I already Thank mentioned you. that the beauty of Nepal is not like a mountain. Right. Beauty of Nepal is not only nature and river. Beauty right. of Nepal is uh, you know people. People. Even I they know. have a problem, even they couldn't get a piece of bread, they, they right. can smile at you. They're happy each other. You know, yeah. I see the beauty, you know, like any street children, they sometimes, you know, I'm giving and sometimes it's not enough food and they share each other, they feed each other. It's so pretty. Yeah, That's the beauty so you can see my country, you know. So Definitely. People. I would love to visit your country <laughs> and visit your Thank place. You. <laughs> Thank, so, you. Thank you Most for welcome. sharing your Supriya. struggle. Yeah. Bath and namaste. Yeah, thank you. So, so it's a, like a it talk was very inspiring and engaging and thank you for your valuable time. You I asked you me are... that you asked me that to speak Hindi, but I can uh, sing uh, one song in a Hindi. Okay. Sure. One go, line, yeah. yeah. Jane se badi pyari nuni muni bachi meri jane se badi pyari nuni muni bachi meri dhudunga main tujhe jane marne baat tak dhudunga main tujhe jeene marne baat tak namaste namaste thank you very well <laughs> You are a singer too, so <laughs> I, I wrote that, you know, like yeah, sometimes I write a little bit. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You. Yeah, stay in nice. touch. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.